So the outcome that we expect is that grantees will develop some sort of partnership with a primary care entity um, and that that will result in improved health status. And the population that we're focusing on, again, um, are those are adults 18 and over with serious mental illness who are getting um, public um, behavioral health services. And the folks that were able to apply for this are community behavioral health agencies. So that could be um, a community mental health center, a community substance use provider, or it could be a federally qualified health center with a behavioral health um, um, designation from, from HRSA. So with regards to the services that these grantees are delivering, there's sort of um, a couple main areas that, um, that, um, that they have to focus on. Other than that, they, they're kind of um, open to whatever they need to do to make, to make this integration happen. Um, so part of that is, um, is providing or ensuring that some sort of primary care screening and assessment is happening. And then um, at times what's more important is really that there are referrals for um, the perceived needs and um, treatment needs in the communities that the individual is, is living in. Um, grantees are asked to develop a registry or some sort of tracking system um, that um, holds all of the primary health care needs and, and then the associated outcomes from the care that an individual is receiving. Um, we want them to really focus on building the processes around not only referral, but also the follow-up. I'll say that that's been an issue for a number of the grantees. It's really the follow-up piece. Is you can do as many referrals as you want, but how do you really make sure that an individual is, is actually getting the care that, that has been recommended? And then grantees are asked to spend a minimum of 10% of their dollars on some on um, prevention of wellness activities. And so these can include um, tobacco cessation, it can include weight loss, um, and there's a wide variety of different things um, that the grantees are doing. Some are very creative and, and people have really thought out, the box, out of the box and been quite lovely in the activities that they've, they've put forward. Um, so the next slide is, is kind of focused on the data. Now the grantees um, have to spend, can spend up to 20% of the money really collecting data around this project. So we want them to get a personal and family history of, of the health issues that are listed there. Um, get a medication history and a current medication list um, with dosages because that's a really big issue is sort of this, um, making sure that we know the medications on the behavioral health side with the primary care side, um, et cetera. What are the social supports, and social supports that an individual is receiving? And then at that individual level, um, we really want to know what is a person's body weight, so body mass index. Some, folks, some sites are doing waist circumference, but um, we've, we've um, listed body mass index here. Um, collect their blood pressure, um, have information on their blood glucose and their lipid profile. And then overall, we want to know how many of those individuals, how many of the clients are being screened for a variety of health issues, and then how many are actually receiving um, the primary care services um, after those screenings have been done. 